Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you what we've thrifted or junked or antique throughout the week and we tell you what we paid for and what we're gonna sell it for. Today we went, um, today's thrift haul, we went to four thrift stores again. It seems to be a new trend. <laughs> including Goodwill. I feel like we're getting like really good stuff and we're not having to like stretch so far and get things that need like huge makes so makeovers, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to shop along and buy anything that you see here tonight, it's all listed at jamierayvintage.com. Just click menu Saturday thrift hall. Or if you're live watching us, Caitlin is dropping links on Facebook and YouTube. What's going to happen is you're going to see us go through like a makeover withdrawal and we're going to go thrift a bunch of stuff that needs a makeover. This week we have a lot of stuff that's going to be Because we're going to be like, oh, I kind of miss painting all the time. Yeah, this week we have a lot of stuff. We're painting, we're stenciling. We actually haven't painted anything from last week yet because of the holiday week. So we'll probably paint on um, like Monday or Tuesday. We'll paint things because a few of them sold. So we've got to get those done. So let's get started. This is a really old rolling pin uh, that someone has painted and it's not a bad painting. So we're gonna leave it as is. If it hangs around till next year and doesn't get scooped up, we will probably paint if it. If I strip it, I'm probably gonna charge like 30-ish dollars for it. Probably 39. Yeah, because the really handles cool. are really old. It's like nope, a super focusing. old. I love the chunky handles. Show them the, the top handle. Like you can see yeah. like the natural wood up there. But as is, it's 1995. Santa with his little cap. Because I on feel there. like getting that compound, like joint I don't compound know off what of they his use. hat, that's like intense. That's I mean, it's been effort. around the block a minute. Like it's got some scuffs up here, but you know, you take a little white paint and you're good to go. We also found five rolling pins um, priced anywhere from like one to three dollars. And Zeb is going to paint them all and stamp them, and they'll be $22.95 each. Um, we used them for $19.95, but we raised them in $22 because they are actually a lot of work. If you've ever painted a rolling pin, you have to like paint the middle, then figure out a way to like hold it up or just hold it, done that too, till it dries. Then you paint the handles separately. Then you roll it onto something. Then you have to seal it. Like there's a lot of steps, but they are really popular. So we're going to keep doing them. This one needs a little repair, but you know, we'll, we'll work that up. I think I can get that done. Well, while you're painting all of them, you can repair them. And once yep. we paint them, we get asked this a lot. They are not for use. I mean, I guess if you had a desperate situation, sure. But they're not food safe or made to use. They're just made for decor. So we've got five of those. I'll let Zeb keep repairing that I'm over almost there. done. <laughs> we've got this urn here. This is going to get painted. It was $3. It's like a nice um, a cement plaster. I think it's plaster. Um, urn. And I just think if it was painted up to where you could see more of the detail, it would be pretty. So this one will be $29.95 once it's painted. There we go. Good okay. to go. Next right. up on the to be painted, we've got this interesting looking little like vase, I guess. I it may have had it. a lid originally. Yeah. But we're going to paint it up. The sponge paint job here is up close is not great. And the picture doesn't look too bad. Um, it was $3 and we're going to sell it for $24.95 once it's painted. I honestly think that that would be like the perfect planter for like a string of pearls or something just spilling out the top the of that. Top. Or like a spider plant or something. Here, let's show this next. It's in my way. <laughs> um, this was $4. I feel like you could hang it and use it for a little shelf or it also has felt pads on the bottom, probably originally intended to be like a, like for a, a, dining, a, table. For a dining table, like a centerpiece. Honestly, I'm wanting, it's like, I know it's winter time, but I've been watching a lot of like homesteading channels and they're all doing greenhouses right now. I'm like, you could plant in this. <laughs> I mean, you would have to line it or something because you wouldn't want it to get wet. We're yeah. going to stencil it and it's going to be $49.95. Susan says, Zeb, you're so handy. Why don't you build a cradle for rolling pins to set it on? I could. He's handy. He's busy. While we've been working on the floors, which is what we've been doing for the oh. last two weeks. We'll give you a little peek at the floors. We haven't um, moved all the furniture back in. I keep in. finding all these things that we really need to attend to. And he keeps telling me, I know, I'm only one person. I, I know that this is a thrift haul. I still have to trim out the pantry. There's like two more boards in there. Um, and then for whatever reason, I, I, I readjusted the fridges. Uh, and freezer. And so that trim's not fitting up like it should. So I got to redo this whole corner here. 
Uh, but there's the floors. We still need to do um, caulking and some touch-up paint. They're looking, uh, I did they're looking good. paint all the window seals. That's the problem is when you give a mouse a cookie. Like when I get started, I have paint, repainted every single window seal except for the one that has his tools in it over here. And then I've been touching up like some of the walls. I actually need to get primer and prime some of the knots. Because even though we did prime them, they're like starting to come through and they look bad. Anyways, but we're getting there. So maybe after all that in like, we used to say 2029, maybe in like 2030, he can build a holder for the rolling pins. <laughs> but we love the floors. They, it does, my entire smell cell, house smells like oil wax, which is kind of like a lead pencil. Like if you ever like, Okay, when you were a kid, did you ever lick your pencil? Never licked my pencil. You never licked it? <laughs> no. Well, if you lick it and then you smell it, that's what oil wax the smells like. It's graphite. It's what you're really smelling. Okay, a graphite pencil. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Now, I guess nobody's licked a pencil, just me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you show them your cauldron there? All right, let me, let me move. I guess we can show it with these in it because that's going to be easier. So this is like a pressed tin planter. It's got a gloss finish on the outside. The inside is actually a little rusty. It was $5 at the thrift store. Uh, it's going to be $28.95. This is big enough. You could do a pretty substantial plant in here. Hold on. I don't want to interrupt. Well, I am going to interrupt you. This is, should have been $49.95. So if somebody um, bought it, Caitlin, would you message them? What we did can it say? refund them. I missed a nine. Oh. It was not $4.95. So if somebody bought it, we could just refund them or they could pay the difference, either or. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. This is huge. <laughs> All right. Um, Cauldron. I thought this was brass, but it's just like tin and yeah, rusty. Yeah, it's pressed tin, rusty in the inside. It's got kind of like a glazed finish on the outside. These are cast iron handles. I actually think I've seen these hung um from these handles and i think they look pretty cool you got to do fun balancing act some people add a hole and do four up but... i would just plant it that's what i would do yeah so what happened is i had this at 79.95 and then while we were pricing everything i was like you know what that's a little small i'm gonna lower it to 40. she thought it was this big and it's only this big and i must have just done it wrong so all right so this is 49.95 and it's like a mercury glass apothecary. I've, we buy a lot of apothecary, but the mercury glass is fun. And it's kind of see-through here. And then it gets more solid as it goes down. And then the top is solid. This is one of my favorite finds from last week. Uh, well, I guess it's still this week. It feels like last week. Uh, just because, you know, the jar itself is cool. And then the added mercury glass on there, it's yeah. even more fun. It's way fun. All right. We're going to do some candle rapid firing. Kaylin, these probably don't look too different on uh the website but this one is hand carved and then this one's just like smooth both of them are 24.95 each and they both will be painted i yeah. think this one is kind of a little bit more modern traditional looking it was three dollars and this one is kind of like it almost looks tribal and it was also three dollars so i think they'll be cute painted i was on a three dollar candlestick run um Oh, Laura says the copper polishing trick that we shared worked great, where we did it with the flour and the lemon juice. I've heard since then that ketchup works, but also ketchup is a mess. So I'm not sure I want to like slather my stuff in ketchup. And maybe it's just because I've had to clean too much. It's, I think anything acidic. Ketchup has quite a bit of acidity and the lemon juice. I heard juice. Barkeep's Friend also works. Like you can buy that powder. It's almost like a comment. All right, next up on the candle, uh, these are metal candles. And there's these ugly leaves on them. I'm going to be removing the leaves. You're going to snap them off? They look like palm trees. But picture these like without. I didn't know you were removing these. When I saw these in your cart, I was like, Jane. You thought that I was going to keep them? Yeah, so you just wiggle them until it gets yeah. hot and they'll pop right off. Anyways, these are all going to get removed. And then the candlesticks aren't bad. These are like so very if you're wanting like, these... Florida 1995. Well, it kind of looks like a flower when you push yeah. them down like that. I'm still taking them off. And then I'm going to paint them, and they're going to be $39.95 for the set. All right. I broke it. All right. It's on purpose. Okay, this little set up here, probably my my uh, favorite they're candlestick cute. find this week. Yeah, those are cute. Those are These your favorite? Are, I just like how short they are, and they're chunky with a ton of detail. 
Um, $28.95. They were $1.50 each. We are going to paint them. All the candlesticks are getting painted with the exception of these. I'm going to show you these up close because they've got a really fun twall on them. These were $2 each. The set is going to be $26.95. One is taller than the other. Okay. Focus up for me. Work with me here. But we got like some little bunnies in here. Little forest uh, garden situation. Looks like some chickens and hens. So just, they're just got a lot of fun There's detail on them. Chinois. Is that, it's spelled ch chinosery. But it's actually chinois. Speaking of spelling, if you ever see me misspell something. That's how you know it was Jamie making the post. That's just the way it is. I can spell, but occasionally I get busy. Occasionally spell check gets in the way. Occasionally a kid asks me a question in the middle of posting things. And I'm not like one of those people that like methodically posts and has it all set out. And I'm in an office typing things up, making sure it's just right, and then hitting send. I'm literally like sitting on my couch petting a dog telling a kid they can or cannot go somewhere. And then I'm like, hey, I think I'll post this. And I post something and then I hit send and then I move about my life. So occasionally. She's actually a not, pretty good speller, but spell check often is like, hey, did you mean to say that? I would say I'm an average speller at best. No, I feel like you spell okay. But like- I if, spelled if beginning I the other a, day. If I was in an office setting. In a thumbnail wrong and I haven't changed oh, it yet. And no one said anything. Well, that's, that's it's <laughs> and weird. that was all me because that was in Photoshop. There was no autocorrect messing me up. <laughs> but like legit, I'm probably never, I, I just don't live the kind of life where I have time to sit there. I try. I'm just not. I feel like if it's phonetically correct, I don't worry about it too much. Like it still I, says the same thing. I feel like if I really paid much attention, then I probably would never post because I'd be so like. Because the, the English language is so fun. Like if you, if you work phonics into it, you can spell things all kinds I of ways. I think you're going to have to like Take the Dremel. Yeah, I might have to. Anyways, Eliza says Spanish is easier than English. I was like, yep, it makes more sense. Except and I for speak you speak Spanish. backwards. Like if you ever hear Jamie say a sentence backwards, it's, Maybe it's there's forwards solid and reasons. we're backwards. All right, next up, giant mug. It's actually a Maybe. planter. It's got like a little hole in the bottom um, and the water comes. Anyways, it's going to be $26.95 and there you go. It's giant and it says bloom. We got all the planters for your winter garden. I actually, uh, I'm having trouble not just running away to the 40 acres right now and forgetting all my other projects and just working out there, putting a little greenhouse, fencing it, running a few head of cattle, you know, dr drilling a well. <laughs> Peggy says she wants you to stencil her rolling pin. I don't think you can stencil. I stenciled rolling pins. Oh, okay. Well, if he can remember, he will then. Which one did you get? Oh, they're not individual. Oh, just I whichever one. I individually list those. Because once you paint them, they're all basically going to look the same. All right. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, this is going to get painted. It's honestly, it's nothing of consequence. I can't believe Zeb paid four dollars for it. I think I we, got it for the it size. Should be a dollar. So this one was actually three with the greenery, and I'm like, okay. They're going to see that this one's playing without greenery and maybe they'll match the price. He did not. I actually like this well, one he better because it's muted. Yeah, it's he was so like, shiny. this one's bigger. But, and he's I'm not like, wrong. I'm like, by an inch. It's a little bigger. And he's like, yeah. I mean, I tried. Anyways, we're going to paint it. <laughs> I don't I actually wheel and deal very often at the thrift store. They usually have them priced pretty well. Right here. It'll be $22.95. And then this one was $3 and it's going to be $26.95, but it comes with this greenery that's like um, foamed in there, which is why it's not coming out because they like legit glued the greenery. You know there. what I like about Let's this watch. one that, it's not. that might not be as noticeable is this one is riveted in on the handle oh, yeah. and this one is tack welded. Well, and they, um, what's this called? They welded that? That's brazed. Brazed. It's going to get painted, whatever it is. Eventually, okay. I'll have all of these off, and Jamie will be through the thrift hall. <laughs> She's showing you all the stuff. Hope you can see the stencil and stamp rolling pins. Probably. I'm just not sure when we'll do them, so we'll see. We do have, if you guys have, are in channel membership or on Facebook, you're a paid subscriber. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do them now. We'll have an extra video on Tuesday for you guys. 
So we kind of split up the videos this uh, month because of Thanksgiving. So we did one in the beginning and we're doing one in the end. I already have printables out. It felt like they were October's printables because October's printables were out like October 31st and November's printables were out like November 4th or whenever the first Tuesday of the month was. So, you know, just know that they're already out. We'll have a December one once December rolls around. If you don't know what printables are, if you pay for the $5 a month, either channel membership or subscriber, we give you two things that you can print out and you can decoupage or you can put them in a frame or whatever. It's just like part of that. I like to explain that because some people are like, what are printables? That's what they are. Um, and we do tons of other videos. So please don't feel like you guys have to sign up to be channel members or subscribers. Yeah, we do five we do public, four, four, four public four videos, videos a week. Every week, um, <laughs> two lives, two edited. We just have an extra two videos a month um, for subscribers. Okay, moving along, we've got this cool wall pocket. It's rusty, which I love. So I'm just probably going to See if I can get these scuffs off, but I'm gonna leave it rusty and put an IOD transfer on here and seal it up. Um, it was $2 and once I transform it, it'll be $29.95. I actually think this, I probably would have paid five to $7 for. I for love the rusty these. one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Well, when you're thrifting, sometimes when you find something that you know is good, you kind of have to balance out. You're like, well, I got that really cheap. I got this cheap. Last week I found it for $8. This week I found it for two. At the end of the day, all of the pricing we're listing things at pretty much washes the price out and then you get an average. It's like, the, yeah, I was gonna say it's the law of averages. That's what I was gonna say. Um, oh, Leslie is back. She just bought some milk paint on Top Crow. Oh, just to let you guys know, all of our Black Friday week deals are still going. I Some people got a little bit confused with the graphic that had like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We just had a new thing come out each day. So the stencil is on sale until Monday. The IOD is on sale, 30% off until Monday. And then all milk paint and bond and farmhouse finishes is 25% off until Monday, the 27th of November, 2023 at like 11.59 PM. And then for the first time ever, we have uh, Sweet Pickens finishes markdown. So waxes, final finish, tongue oil, all that is 10% off. And that hasn't gone on sale before. So all of that is going, if you go to Jamie Ray Vintage, you just click um, Black Friday sales. Everything's in that collection. And the discount comes out when you check out. If you guys have never used the tongue oil or the hemp oil, they're both food safe from Sweet Pickens. It's bio certified. Uh, so they are, they're awesome. They're amazing sealers for any kind of paints, really. Um, but also for like wood, uh, rolling pins, cutting boards wooden plates, wooden bowls, that's the kind of thing I would use those on. Yeah, so it's only Sweet Pickens finishes though. Just make that clear. So it's not any DIY products, but I know most of you guys already know because you get our text messages or you have our apps or our emails, but I just want to make sure nobody misses out because this is the best time to stock up for sure. Um, also, we just received all our Painterly paints today. Oh yeah. So we will start shipping out those orders early next week. I can't promise that they will all ship out on Monday because there's a lot of orders, but we will do our best to get them shipped out um, in the order that we receive the orders, probably Monday and Tuesday. I know. Um, yeah, we got it today, right? Was it today? Yeah, it just came in late today. Um, so we didn't get any shipped out today, but we will start shipping those on Monday. So if you've been waiting for those, those are coming. All, all right. right. I got those petals broken off. I want to show you this giant serving bowl or mixing bowl. You could use this for a mixing bowl too. I think it would be great. Um, actually, never mind. It says for decoration only. I put that in the listing that it was for decoration. So, I live on the edge and I would test it for lead. And as long as there wasn't lead, I would just throw fruit in there or bananas. Bananas, yeah. That's a lot of bananas. It's a big bundle of bananas. Um, it's a really cool to... bowl either way. I We had a new channel member, Aaron Absher, on YouTube channel members so well, welcome make sure you check in the community tab that is where you're going to get notification for the extra live videos you can actually go to the community tab now and watch old live videos yeah, you if have you just scroll to, back you should be able to see those um and that's also where we put the printables um there's always when we put the printables there's like a link and a password and you have 45 the printables days. do expire yeah the printables only last 45 days and you can save them like download them to your computer and you can print up to 100 copies i forgot to tell you this big old bowl was five bucks we're selling it for 39 and it sold it was the first item to sell tonight oh nice 
What sealer did we use on the floor? We used white oil wax, which is exact same sealer that we used in our addition because we have the same floor. We've been it's here three wood. years in January. We haven't redone the addition and it's just getting like shinier and more hard and it's awesome. The only place I think we need to add an extra coat because we only did one coat is probably in the bathrooms. Oh, by the shower. Showers. Where so we step both out. Bathrooms. But yeah, we used it three years ago, and it's though we've loved those floors so much that we just put these in here and put white oil wax on them. All right, fun little shelf sitter clock. This was three dollars. It's gonna get a paint job. The paint, the black isn't bad. It's it's, uh, but I'm gonna have to fill these, and then I'm gonna drill a hole and put a single knob because it probably had like a like a little cast handle of some sort on the top here. And then I'll just put a little knob on there like we like to do. Actually, I was thinking about that tonight when I was looking at it. And then it'll be $29.95. I was like, how is he going to do that? And I'm like, oh, we feel those. We can just put one in the middle. So we're like, yeah. same wavelength. And we've been doing a lot of projects for a lot of years now. Um, we're working on nine years. It'll be nine years full-time self-employed together in April. Doc was not even one. Yeah. It was just a little sidekick. <laughs> if you watch our old videos, you see him pop in. We don't, we don't put our kids on our channel a ton because it's, it's not what our channel is about. And we want our kids to just live their lives. Every and now and then you'll see them, though. When, but Jack was always with us. So yeah. he was just. You'll see them when they volunteer. I'm like, hey, I'm filming. And then they'll they'll be like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're not in the mood. Yeah, for sure. Um, the only stencil that's on sale right now is the Old World stencil. Caitlin, would you mind sharing our live video from yesterday in the shop? Um, Caitlin's going to drop the link. We went live yesterday on Facebook and YouTube. We show you all the new stuff we've got in the shop, as well as talk about everything that's on sale. So that if you missed that video, that one's a good one. It's a little red kettle slash teapot. What would you call that? That's a teapot. Teapot. A kettle is oh, what you put bigger. directly on the stove. Yeah. You would not put this directly on the stove. So a kettle is what you fill your teapot with. Gotcha. So I'm not. I'm not. We're not familiar. tea drinkers. Can you tell? Uh, this was a dollar fifty. It's gonna be nineteen ninety five. I feel like it is the right time of year for this red. It's a very good, so bright, cute. Christmassy red. It's like a cherry red, and it'd be cute for a Valentine's it display. Does need a, it's it's. Needs a serious scrub. It's been used. It has boiled some water. We'll scrub it up before we send it out. Scrub to it you. up, Dub. All right, Did you Kate, tell them about this, or thank is this you, just Caitlin. sitting here? She dropped the link. Don't leave now, but save the link that she just dropped, um, and then you can watch the video from yesterday's live video. What? Have you already showed them this? No. This is going to get painted. Tell them about your urn. Although this it's not. It's not completely empty. It's only empty to like right there. Yeah. It's really heavy. It's like this is, cement. This is the first thing I picked up out in the yard at the South Jordan DI. DI. Yeah. This is uh, definitely weapon grade because this is really heavy. Um, I don't. How much was it? Uh, I think it paid five, four. I, I I didn't pay over five. I think it was okay. four. Um, We're gonna paint it, and then it'll be forty nine ninety five. Yeah, it's made out of terracotta underneath oh, all the paint cement, sorry, uh, it might be cement Listen, I, thought I, I, I thought i saw a little terracotta down here uh, chip chipping through the glaze and the paint but maybe not kimberly joe says she's been watching us for five years all right well we've been doing youtube for eight eight now in we august didn't start till august yeah we didn't start until Zeb started the channel when he quit his job and i wasn't brave enough to put out a video until august and then for the first couple years zeb pretty much I well, was on the videos, but Zeb. Well, our next door neighbors did YouTube. They had a family vlog and they had like 300,000 subscribers and they were doing it full time. Like that's all they were doing. And I'm like, Jamie, we got to get in on this. <laughs> you can use a teapot for apple cider. Oh, nice. My mom drinks herbal tea. I don't like tea. I think it's disgusting. The only time I've ever drank tea is when I drank herbal tea when I was nursing to help lactate. Did you break that? No. That's oh. how it's supposed to be. Oh. Um, and my mother-in-law would be like, you want it hot or cold? I'm like, I don't care. It's medicine. Just give me the tea. And I would just drink it. <laughs> um, artichoke, nothing special as is. It's one of those weird spongy paint finishes. Like in real life, you could tell somebody just took a brown Here, let me sponge show you. to it. I'll show you close. It was $3. We're going to paint it and not sponge it. And it'll be $19.95. Do you ever use a foam roller with DIY paint? Um, nope. But I have. Like, do I use it? Frequently, no. I'm a brush girl. I either brush or spray. Sherry says, I remember Jack painting with you. My favorite video of Jack, and he came up with all of his own lines because he just watched us all the time. We show how to use DIY wax. And Jack is the this little salesman for DIY clear wax. It's the cutest thing. It's probably like three. My favorite. 
All right, um, so this is, was $2 and it's gonna be $14.95. It's just a tarnished silver pedestal. Super cute for the holidays. Put your little treats in there. Or you could even do like a like a, an arrangement, I think would be cute too. You could shine this up. When I was looking just, just to see value on something like this, and it's not like a super heavy gauge metal. It's not really lightweight, but it's not heavy either. Um, I saw one of these really polished up and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But this has got such a good even patina on it. We're going to leave it like that. But you could, if you wanted to, polish this and it's going to look almost brand new. Sometimes I want everything polished and sometimes I want everything patina. But lately, I've been loving the polish. And I do have to pull. I have a huge like shelf of copper that's up there. And it's all covered in a fine layer of dust from sanding the floors. So I have to clean it anyway. So I might shine up some of my own copper. All right. So this. Oh, did you show this one already? Oh, no, I don't remember if I I was holding it, but I don't think I told you <laughs> All right, so this it. was uh, $3.99 at the Goodwill. It's got forged brass feet and then just like a hammered brass bowl. They're it's a not, planter. They're riveted on. I love it when they're riveted because it's that it makes them really strong. They're riveted on. It's going to be $18.95. Well, sometimes we get stuff like that and, and one foot's like, like, like almost falling off. Yeah. And the, no, this it's is like where one. the tack weld or the brazing or whatever they did is like coming apart. The rivet is way sturdy all right we have two items here i got this easel to display art jamie voted to display this mirror that is going to get a real serious paint job um it does have a tiny little crack down here in the bottom it won't come to you with a crack you won't even know it happened i'm gonna fix it well you might if you look real close well i'm gonna fix it and super glue it and then when we paint it it's gonna go away i want to do like gold or copper maybe copper i have not copper in a while it's not like super precious and old like a no, plaster it's plastic. mill it's plastic mirror. and it's got it's a plastic. it looks like a zebra stripe paint finish i don't even know <laughs> what they were doing so yeah, they it's took either their, a gold or copper they went like this down on the bottom here um but this is going to be it was three dollars once we we're done repairing and painting it it'll be 32.95 it actually, the frame is really great the way it looks. It just needs a different paint job. Okay, this easel, I got this intending to put some framed art on there. The mirror works good. It's a nice easel. This is, yeah, this it's is maple. maple, and then it's got brass fittings on it. Um, it's $15.95. I think I paid 2 or $3 at the Goodwill for it. Uh, but it comes, it packs. So, like, if you're you're an artist and you're headed to the river because you're going to paint yourself a countryside scene. Oh, that's just so right picturesque. here. And it's pretty versatile too. Like, it it doesn't look like it's very tall, but it adjusts. You just got a little screw on the back here, and you can you can really fit like a pretty large oh. canvas on it. I didn't know that went up like that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, like it's it. it's a nice little easel. All right, I'm going to pass this your way, and I'm going to start working on the pile that's over here. So we have a couple of pressed tin pieces. One, um, I call this a biscuit box because when I looked it up, I actually found some, like, antique English biscuit tins. Um, this probably did not have biscuits in it. It's probably uh, <laughs> for – it says for decor only, so don't put your biscuits in it. Um, I'm going to paint this and seal it up, and it's going to be $22.95. And then you can not put biscuits in it. <laughs> and then this is for tissue. And somebody said they liked the way it looked, but it's kind of orangey cream, which is not my favorite. So I think repaint it, it'll be a lot cuter. And this is going to be $19.95. This is for those of you that like to make your Kleenexes look bougie. You want to cover up that whatever theme your Kleenex box has going on. I personally just use toilet paper when my nose is running. Like, I don't, my mom is like, but that's not, that's tacky. And I'm like, I use Charmin. It's a classy toilet paper. And when I'm sick, I don't want, I just bring a whole roll and I put it next to the bed. Yeah. If we were using like a, like a thin little toilet paper, probably not, but it's, it it's can hold end. up, it can hold up to some heavy blowing. Yeah. So we just, we use Charmin, but huh. my mother likes Kleenex. So I always think of her when I see these. Okay. I'm going to bring this close because I want you to see the detail on this little jar, or little glass. It may have had a lid at one point, but we thrifted it without. It was a dollar. These are all, are they $9.95 on these? Yeah. Every single one is $9.95. They're different ones. That's like so, a Federalist type pattern. This is like a little candy dish with a scalloped edge. This one, I actually don't think I put it in there, but it's carnival glass. Um, and I probably should have put that in the listing, but that one's oh, carnival yeah. glass. The carnival glass is cool. Somebody was asking about uh, our coffee table books. 
Jamie Biscuit Tin is leave unpainted. Okay, I will separate that out. Um, we still do have coffee table books. If Caitlin has a time, she can search for you. Or if you just go to the website under the search bar, just type book and then they should all pop up. We have quite a few of them. Some have sold out since then, but we do have quite a few still in stock. These are great little dishes. They've all got a lot of detail on them. I'm gonna put this right here. And then the carnival glass, that's like a, you, you find, we, we probably find like 10 pieces of this a year in varying dishes and mugs. We do a lot of thrifting. Karen Radford says she has to have her puffs plus. Karen, do you follow the Radfords from the UK? I'm just like fascinated with them. It's my newest obsession. They have 22 children and they're all biologically theirs. And they do not belong to some like really conservative religion that pushes like, you know, and encourages big families. They just have 22 children. <laughs> they just have that many. Which is really odd being from the UK because a lot of people only have one or two kids And they're in always just so chill. Like it's no big deal. That's like, we got 22 kids. We have a kid a year for like the last 23 three years. Three kids is a big family. When we tell people we have five, they're like, whoa. I'm like, hey, my brother's got seven. That's right. And, you know, 10 years ago. I think you should have as many children as you want to have. Not 10 years ago. They're just like so fun to watch. Anyways, I saw Radford and I thought about the Radfords on, I think if you look up 22 and counting on YouTube. That's why I, I was going to say, I said 10, but I meant like. I don't know why, but like around the fifties when the boom was happening, all the boomers, like, you know, eight kids was like a medium sized family. <laughs> Your little urn has sold. My little one. Nice. Little urn. All right. So this is a little, uh, just, I don't know was we call this an urn too without a lid. Um, it was a dollar. It's plaster. We're going to paint it up, probably make it look like cement. Um, is that 10, 12, 12, 12 95. Um, somebody was asking about all the rolling pin. It's actually like the wine rack from England. We haven't listed that yet. Maybe next week. It's in the barn. It's got it's got fresh English cobwebs all over it and some we leaves hanging to it. We have to hose it down. And I didn't have a water on at the house. So we took it to the barn. And so I just got to. And we it. didn't have any way to hose it down while we were there. So we just shipped it with the cobwebs. I feel like we should have just taken it upstairs to our giant walk-in shower and hosed it down in there. That might be like a more likely scenario. I have. I have groundwater over at the shop. It's on. Okay. That's what I water buttercup with. But I'm on That was like that. the big push to do the irrigation system at the shop because I was like, I can't water this cow another all winter long hauling water from the upstairs bathroom five gallons at a time. That was a lot. Because she drinks like 20 gallons a day. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have this fall canning jar. It's like wavy glass. It's two and a half cups. Um, and it's got measurements on the side and I just love it. And I, I, we actually bought two, but I can only find one. So this one is eight ninety five. If I find the other one, I will list it. Okay. This is a maple cutting board and it's been used. Someone's really gone to town on it. I actually bought it because someone had done some heavy cutting on this and it looks old. What I'm going to do, it's got a couple little cracks. There's one right here and a little one right here and the wood it's like a laminated wood it's not one solid piece so what i do on these is i get like a little piece of flat brass jamie has some brass tags that i used the last time around if i can find a piece of copper and i'll even do like some tin on here um and then i'll do a repair just on the cutting board uh this very old world look like especially especially european like they didn't once something was made, they just repaired it and repaired it and repaired it until it just could not function anymore. Uh, and I, I love I love seeing that over there. And so this old cutting board is going to get new life and we're going to uh, do the copper repairs. They actually look really cool and it makes them functional. I mean, the copper and the metal is out on the edge. It's not going to dull your knife unless you're just getting wild with your cutting board. Most of your cutting is done in the center. So it was... It says two dollars here, but seventy-five cents here. I don't know which one we actually I'm got. I'm not even sure which one they rung up us. for. Um, but it's going to be twenty-four ninety-five once we're done, and I'll I'll do like some fresh tongue oil or uh, or uh, hemp oil on this. That's food we'll safe. We'll use a food safe oil. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I've been watching y'all's videos, and I'm inspired. I just ordered some milk paint. Can't wait to get it. The milk paint is fun. Don't get frustrated with it. We tell, we hear a lot of people, they're like, I'm scared of milk paint. Don't be scared. Just start painting. It's, it's good. You never get 
proficient at something until you, I have, I feel like I did like five projects before I really got it. And it's, I love using you it. Most of my own on. personal pieces I painted with it. I have three of these garlands. Can you imagine showing up wearing this to church? Or necklaces. I mean, if you really like apples, they are fifteen ninety five each. They're kind of be over there belting looking. out some hymns. They're in pretty good condition. Some of the apples, they're foam, so some of them are a little bit imperfect. But I think they're really cute, and I have three of them. So three, I feel like, would be enough to do an entire tree. Um, yeah. So it says vintage chunky apple garland. But I guess we should put slash could be a necklace. <laughs> could be necklace. Sunday um, best right here. Uh, Caitlin says she thinks she's seen necklaces sold like that at Claire's. Um, and Caitlin, I did see that the biscuit tin, they don't want to paint it. So I set that aside. All right. Um, next up, Desiree is making fun of us. She says licking pencils and wearing apples. Which Desiree is that? Desiree, my niece. Oh, what's up, Desiree? You Desiree need to come on a, sister. You need to come on a live stream sometime and, you know, we'll see what you do. Yeah, you tell us. <laughs> I could tell all the things about Desiree, but I won't. Desiree is closer to my age than Caitlin. We spent a lot of time together. In fact, I shared a bedroom with her for about a year. She survived me being, I was spoiled beyond belief. And I never shared a room in my life because my sisters are 15 to 24 years older than me. And Desiree shared a room with me for a year and she survived. So it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was 14. I wasn't in the mood. All right. Cast iron key. I think we paid like a dollar for it. I can't remember. Two dollars, and we're selling for thirteen ninety five. It was I two. Always two. Yep. I always pick up cast iron keys. They sell really well for us people. Anything cast them. iron. If you find something cast iron, unless it's just like the subject matter is awful, which is pretty rare, just get it. Just do it. All right. This is a kind of ceiling tin style press tin. It actually has handles on it, but it comes with hanging hardware too, just in case you want to hang your. That'd be really cute to put a wreath on. Oh, yeah, you could put a wreath on this. I got it because it has handles like a tray. It is going to get repainted and redone, um, and then it'll be $28.95. I paid $3 for this. Oh, it says each. That means they had more than one at one point. I like getting multiples of things. Sometimes I think it means that they pushed the wrong button when they were tagging it. It happens. Uh, I see you listed Zeb's skipping basket. I had to laugh. Yeah, and I forgot to re-photograph that one, so it's still like him holding it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up. I cheesed it up real good for that one. One ninety-five little organizer. We're going to be picking these up anytime we see them because – People right now, everybody's all about let's decorate for Christmas, let's buy all this stuff. And then in January, they're like, let's organize this stuff. So I always like to buy organizers. And this one's cute. It's got like chicken wire on all the little cubbies on it. All right. I need I need all my cat folks. Robin says that her grandfather <laughs> was a I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the cat fam from a family of 18 in Sweden. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of kids. <laughs> all right. So Ray Dunn kitty cat mug with a lid. Uh, it was $3 at the thrift store. We are selling it for $14.95. It's, it's no chips. It's like new It was condition. actually brand new and still had the plastic on it. There's a piece of foam in here probably yeah. to keep this from banging around. We like removed the plastic that was around the outside just because it didn't look good. But nobody has ever used it before. There we I go. mean, unless they used it with the plastic That's around it. That's got a collar. I think that it was originally like seven, like I saw when I was looking for listings, I saw them anywhere from $17.95 up to like $20 plus dollars for that kitty cat mug. So um, next up, cutest little seashell box. This one, all the seashells are intact. I picked up one in England and one of the shells was broken, but this one, all the shells are intact and it is um, lined on the inside and it was $3 and we're it is missing one little shell up here in the corner. Oh. <gasps> Caitlin, can you add to the listing that it's missing one shell? I didn't notice that. It's got enough going on. It's hard to see. Um, and it's $22.95. You could probably find a little shell like that and just glue it on. The, this was really popular to do seashell art like this. Um, there's a bunch of antique French seashell art. So look it up. You'll find a lot of pretty pieces. But I just, I love it. Super cute. Um, it got blurry. Is it still blurry? Yeah. Fuzzy, blurry. Desiree says, why is it so fuzzy? Oh, it's better now. It's fine. It's fixed because it. I joined. It's on autopilot right now. It's doing its own thing. It should be better. Okay. So now I'll show you this now that it's not fuzzy. Look how cute that is. Oh, now it's getting blurry again. I'm going to stop. 
Stop holding stuff. Base. Stop oh, holding no. stuff up to it. Here, it's, I'll just make it's it. It's having a struggle. I'll make it focus on you. It's probably because of this Mickey face. It's like white and it's blurring it out. So let's show that and then we'll be done. All right. Um, this somebody said it was worth two hundred and fifty dollars. I found that not to be true when I looked it up online. And so I'm selling it for forty four ninety five. It's Mickey on one side. <laughs> Mini on the other. It does have some chips around the It does have some authentic here. battle damage. It does say Walt Disney on the bottom. It's very hard to see. Um, it's like you, something, something, I can't, Walt Disney. Anyways, and it was painted when it was original, but a lot of the, a lot of these, the paint just wore off over time. So that's why there's like a few little spots because originally the whole thing was painted. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And now it's Mickey just the glaze. And it's super cute. And I never find scrubbing. old, authentic Disney stuff. So I was super excited. Okay, so this is a batter pitcher. It's kind of like a folk art theme on there, yellow. It did, it's got this really kind of, I don't know what happened to it. When we unloaded it, it may have been already cracked and we didn't see it. But when we got it home, it was broken all the way. So I re-glued this. Um, and it's it says batter on it. And then it's got kind of this folk art, like, uh barnyard scene on there um how much did you pay for this jamie uh, two bucks it's gonna be 12.95 i don't know what i paid for my repair is expert just so you know it's super sturdy you want to see you can pick it up by it okay now we've got these two little creamers they're matching set they were a dollar each. They're going to be uh, ten ninety five. They are Wheatland pottery. Yep, I think they're really cute. I love they have kind of like a ridged, um, and the glaze on them is really pretty and unique. So they're you can tell that they're hand. They're like they almost well, they're individually done. I don't know if they're hand done because the glazing isn't this exactly the same on both of them. They almost look like Fiesta wear. Almost, but they're Wheatland. Almost, they're Wheatland. Okay. Next up, cast iron. We've got these right here. They are uh, $12.95 each. And we've got a snowman and a Santa Claus. These would be cute painted, but I love cast iron as is. And I just like them because they're really heavy. So you can put them on your mantle and they're not going to like fall off if you like overload your stocking. I mean, I can't promise that they'll never fall off. If they do fall off, just make sure your head's not underneath it. So I it. typically see the stocking hanging empty and then once it gets loaded up, people set it down. Like they don't hang them back up on these. Oh, I always hang my stockings up. With load loaded up? Yeah, remember those ones I made in the tin can with the cement? Well, yeah, but that was, those ones were like five pounds each. These ones might be two, two and a half. Um, yeah, way back when we did a Waste Not Wednesday, and I took tin cans and I put an IOD mold on them, painted filled them, them with copper. cement, painted them copper, and put a knob on them, and that's what holds my kids' stockings. They're legit. All right, next up, this was $3. We're going to paint the embossed tin. I'll take, I'll either, yeah, these unscrew. So I'll unscrew these because I don't want to paint them, and then I'll screw them back on, and it'll be $29.95. <laughs> I'm going to show these close and hopefully we don't mess up the camera. Those are sold. Sweet. It says Zeb still needs to fix the camera. It's not blurry on our end, so I don't know. All right. So little uh, folk art mugs. We have three of them. These were pricey online. We're selling them for uh, $9.95 each. The cheapest I think I found was like 12 yeah. or 13 So We have three of them. Lori says... Have you lost weight? Yes. So I am down 20 something pounds. I haven't, I'm not really paying that much attention. I gained a bunch of weight and now I'm just kind of leveling back out to normal. Definitely not skinny mini by any means. <laughs> Cause I still like cake and pie. Let's be honest. All right. Colander. It's kind of like a Royal leaning towards Navy blue. It's was $3 at the thrift store. It's going to be 1995. Another one of those items that needs a good scrub. A lot of times, though, we get these and they're really rusty. It does have a couple little yeah, I put chips that had a chip. in the enamel, but it's not rusty. Yeah, they're really cute. I love the cobalt blue color. Um, BLB says that they can't find the links. Caitlin's dropping links, so you should be able to find all the things. Tell them about your old games. Jimmy's been getting games. So um, I bought a Scrabble game. Sold it for $24 or $28. I can't even remember. Originally, when I bought it, I thought, well, if it doesn't sell as is, then I'll sell it just for the tiles. And the whole game sold. And so the last few times, 
I think it's the area that we've been thrifting. It's kind of an older neighborhood. I mm -hmm. found some like vintage. I think this game is actually from the 80s. Um, ES Low, Milton Bradley Company, Triple Yahtzee. Triple Yahtzee. And the thing that's cool about this one is that there's actually game pads. You get the <laughs> Carol's game pad here that they actually use, but there's like a decent amount of unused game pads. So that's kind of fun. And I did check it has Odelia photographed them for me. It does have all the dice, which is there's five dice. Comes complete with a Pac vintage Pac-Man pencil. <laughs> so there's actually three pencils, but that's actually the only one of, of notice worthy. It's probably from the 80s too. Anyways, it's all complete there. And there's also a request for release time uh, seminary. It's a little vintage. No, oh, someone didn't want to I'm go. sending all of it. You got the coins here. Oops. No. Whoa, What's I was the date put on that? That'll there. tell you when. There's oh, no date. It's not no filled one dated out. It. Anyways, I it was think in the it's 1900s because it was 19. That was 1695. And then this game I have never seen before. It's called Twixt. And it's got a little case, and then you slide this out. And I think this is like the original, you know, the square game. Have you ever played that? And it's got like these little pieces. This is a little older. It feels like it's got that good like 70s, maybe even 60s. You put these pieces uh, on or something and then you can like. Yeah, you're supposed to build squares. Make a square. See? So it's like the one that you draw, but it's got pieces. I didn't count them. It looks like they've got a decent amount of pieces still in here. I didn't even read the rules, but it looks like it could be fun. If Anyways. you ever played it when you were a kid, you know, now now's your chance. All right, this was a dollar and this one, or $3, and it's going to be $22.95. The reason why I know how it's played, well, maybe that's not how it's played, because look at the back. That's not squares. Oh, they're going all over the place. Yeah, this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, old board games are just fun, and I think uh, because of the holidays, people are buying board games. There's a lot of nostalgia involved, so I thought it would be fun to try it out. Is that it? Oh, we have... Um, we have one, this. We have... One, two, two more things, and then we have a new tool that Zeb is really excited to show you guys. So it's did not I get, actually thrifted. Did I get added? Yes, I got those listed. Okay. Um, hold on just a second. While we're doing this, Caitlin, can you pick two people for sharing? Or we can, if not, we can do it on Wednesday. Just text me and let me know. All right. So I would call this almost new old stock. Someone put it together. But it still has like the uh, okay. small, medium, large stickers on them. It has the tag. Like yeah, there's a there's a tag over here. Like it hasn't been used. It's oh, it's still see where this is where the original like price tag probably was. So I looked it up. This is like a French style general store. Like you would see like bananas and apples and stuff, and that has sold. Oh, it did sell. It comes apart. It does come apart. It will, you will get it apart. So you'll get the three baskets. So you'll have to like tighten everything back up because it'll ship better. We'll put the baskets inside of each other. I think it's really fun for a display. But if you really loved fruit or actually you could put a bunch of greenery and make it look like a Christmas tree. That would be really oh, yeah. fun. Was. I was going to put it in the shop, Tammy. But then I told Deb like I probably should list it because I actually have quite a few things. That I'm like, oh, I'll just put that in the shop. I'll just put that in the shop. And then... Um, I just need to sell stuff. I don't remember how much I, I paid for it. I think it was five to ten dollars. Might have been ten. I thought it was seven. Was it seven? No, the it tags, was five. The tag's gone. It was five because I remember thinking, holy moly, that's the best deal ever. Because I would have paid fifteen or twenty for it. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, that basket is huge. Okay. Oh, the tool. I've already got it in the drawer here for being used. Okay, so this is from Zebra Brush. All right. I've not I got a text from Caitlin. So let's plan on Next Wednesday, when we do Waste Not Wednesday, we will pick the share winners and we'll do four. You heard it here. So make sure you guys are sharing the video on Facebook if you're on Facebook. So that way we can put you in the mix for so share winners. I'm going to keep this in the drawer. Oh, she already picked. Never mind. She already picked. We'll do share winners in okay, just a hold second. On. Sorry, here. let me can I give them before we forget. Okay, yeah, give them. Okay, sorry. Um, she picked them. Okay, Dorothy Brown can't. Cato, B-R-A-N-C-A-T-O. I can't spell that last name. And Molly Miller. 
Sorry, Caitlin was getting them. I was thinking she might not could get them. Anyways, those two people, if that is you on Facebook, email info at jamierayvintage.com. We'll send you happy mail. And if you guys don't know what this is, we just like to pick a couple people every week that have shared anything we've posted, this video, any video, a picture, whatever. And we send them something free in the mail for saying, hey, thanks for sharing our stuff. All right, now, go ahead. Okay. So this is called the Open It. It's from Zebra Brush, which we carry great brushes. Um, this is very sturdy, very stout. It's designed for like cutting flower stems. You could use it for, uh, you know, small. It's got a little screwdriver, uh, slotted screwdriver or flathead, um, and a little Phillips. And you can even use this. It's got a uh, razor blade in here, like a box opener style razor blade. And it's got a safety latch that comes over the top so you can't accidentally open it. But you could even use this little screwdriver it comes with if you needed to change the blade. And it's the screwdrivers are small enough. I think they would be handy for like small little clockwork, like backs of clocks, changing out batteries on small toys or I devices. I like the sniffer for plastic, like opening plastic things. Yeah. You know how you give all these presents and then your kids immediately want you to put batteries in them take them out of the box, whatever. Well, this has all the things you need to do These are that. sturdy enough. I'm going to keep them in the drawer and use them for opening paint cans. You know, you just leave it open and pry it right on open. Um, oh, also, it's a bottle opener. It's got the bottle opener right oh, here. Oh, yeah. And it's so, $17.95, and it comes in this cute little box. And so I think it's perfect for, like, stocking it stuffers. It locks closed. The dude who has everything, but maybe not the all-in-one. Or the mom who's got to open up a bunch of stuff on Christmas morning. Honestly, That's like, awesome. you know how you have kitchen scissors and they end up like getting dull pretty quick unless you spend a hundred dollars on them. Like, I think these would be really great. You could even go, these are sturdy enough. You can probably just use them in the garden too. Like just trimming yeah. some cut flowers. It's like a really good all in one. I saw somebody had them online. I was like, oh, Zipper has those. I, we carry Zipper. We have all the brushes. So I looked it up and sure enough, we could carry them. I think they're like $17.95 and we bought a dozen, but we're keeping this one. So we have 11 available. Yeah, and we well, can get more. All right. Does it have an AM radio and a flashlight? It does not. <laughs> I but love it that. is a pretty That's cool definitely. tool. It is a pretty cool tool to just like, you know, I'm going to keep it in the drawer back here in the kitchen and use it for all kinds of stuff that I would normally like use a kitchen knife for and just pry stuff open or cut tape and then my knife's all sticky, you know. <laughs> also, the mercury glass apothecary jar is available. Again, we want to be funding that person because the pricing was incorrect. And Caitlin dropped the link. And then we have one more question, and then we're going to go because we are tired. It's been a long week. Thanksgiving, I mean, I didn't even remember to ask you guys. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. If you're here in the U.S., it was Thanksgiving Thursday. Uh, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It was It awesome. was very low-key. We awesome went to dinner food. and Caitlin came with her husband and her boys. And it, other than being freezing cold. Yeah, the restaurant uh, was cold. It was super good. And they came back here and we had pie. And there was no uh, Thanksgiving drama. Like, <laughs> there was Nobody was upset about anything. Nobody decided to talk about religion and politics. Although we did talk about religion and politics and had no problem. But that's just... We all get along, so it's fine. Wasn't um, wasn't the typical family Thanksgiving get together? <laughs> I've actually never experienced that. Yeah, I've never heard of it, but I hear <laughs> that it happens. Okay, one question, Jamie. Will the clear wax work for transfers? Yes. Um, you want to put them over the top of your transfer, not underneath. But I have sealed transfers with clear wax, um, and it works fine. Just make sure it's something non-toxic, so like the DIY wax or the beeswax. Do not put wax under the transfer. It can make it not stick. Yep. Um, I know I said that I was going to have a video out on the, the vlog, Jamie and Zeb vlog, um, about the flooring, but we're still working on the flooring. So I didn't get the video up. I want to show it with everything back in because the floors are, they look awesome. And I think they're going to look real good with the furniture back in here. Stay tuned this week. Monday we'll have another thrifting video. And then the Thursday evening, Friday morning video, that will be our Christmas home tour. So now that the floors are done, we are going to crispitize the house. We're going to clean up our situation because the family was a hot mess. Um, we're going to wash the couch covers. It's going to get cleaned up, and we will have a Christmas tour out Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. Um, also, don't miss out on our biggest sale of the year, the Black Friday sale. Caitlin dropped the link, or you can go to jamierayvintage.com. There's a huge banner up there. Click that. That runs until Monday the 27th. 
um, at 11.59 p.m. And then if you have any questions, you can email info at jamiemarayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And thrifting. Love you guys. We will see you next week. We'll catch you later Monday.